How's it going YouTube? This is Eli Beavers and Visuals and if we haven't met before, I am a freelance photographer based here in Indianapolis, Indiana. I specialize in portraiture, food photography, product photography, and urban photography. And in this video, I'm going to give you three tips on how to make money as a startup freelance photographer. These are just a few of the things that have worked for me so far and I am still trying to implement into my business. So let's get right into tip number one. Tip number one guys, reach out to some local small businesses, whether it's a car dealership, clothing store, a restaurant, anything along those lines. Shoot them a DM, shoot them an email, say hey I'm a startup photographer in your area, can I come into your business and shoot some photos of your product to build up my portfolio? In exchange I'll give you a few of the images for free to use with credit on social media. I have used this exact tactic in numerous times. I'll show you some of the photos right now that are still in my portfolio that I have used this exact tactic on with success. So what this does it is a stress-free environment because you know you're not working for a, you know, a stressful client that you know you're getting paid to do. This is something that's on your terms. You're taking some photos of their product you're gonna send them a few of them. And when you send them that email of those beautifully edited images, make sure you say, hey, I'm available for hire if you would like more photos along these lines. So this is something really good. Like I said, it's gonna build up your portfolio and it's gonna get you out networking with some local small businesses. Let's head on to tip number two. Reach out to local magazines or newspapers and see if you could join their rotation of photographers. Send them a nice simple email introducing yourself, saying what type of photography you do, and send them a link to your website, Instagram, wherever you have your portfolio of work. So this is another one that I have personally used. In my case, someone actually reached out to the magazine on my behalf, asking them to take a look at my portfolio and see if they could use me. And then I got in contact with that person and here we are. And I've been shooting for them for a couple months now and it's been really fun. Um, a lot of small business type photography and highlighting the businesses in the towns around where I live. Like I said, it's been really fun and it's given me a good opportunity to continue networking and get some of my work published. Make sure you reach out to those newspapers and magazines. Tip number three, always have your camera with you. So I was on vacation, I was going to a lumberjack show. I decided to just take my camera with me just in case it was really cool. I figured it was gonna be lame, but I'm glad I ended up shooting it because I got back, I was editing the photos and I thought, man, these could make for some really nice advertising images on social media for this company. So I sent an email to the owner. I said, hey, I've got about a dozen images from the other night at one of your shows. Let me send you one, see what you think. If you like them, we'll arrange a time to meet up and you can give me some cash for the rest of the photos. So that's exactly what happened. He liked the image and so we got together and I was able to make some quick cash on vacation and he was able to get some really nice images that I took during the Lumberjack show. So that was another win-win. Wouldn't have done that if I wouldn't have had my camera on me at that time. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got some value out of it that you can apply to your photography startup business. As always, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, check out all my other social medias linked down below in the description of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. So, oh my word, so many cars.